But it's not just tax and spend that the candidates have been speaking about. Of course, it's the southwest hustings mm -hmm. this evening. And so we've been hearing a lot about agricultural policy. And very interestingly, Rishi Sunak has gone on the attack on the Liz Truss campaign for something that Liz Truss has said about farming and about seasonal work visas. Liz Truss has said that as Prime Minister, she would extend this temporary visa so that people can come over, pick the fruit and the like, so that that's sort of a sop to farmers in a way. Well, Rishi Sunak has come out with a very strong statement against that, saying that Liz Truss is blaming Brexit, saying that she's showing her true colours as a Remainer with this visa proposal. A really quite stinging um, response there. Now, I put that response to someone on uh, Liz Truss's team who uh, responded very simply with an animated picture of a car rearing around a slippery road, <laughs> spinning and spinning. And it does seem that Liz Truss's team are confident that this attack from Rishi Sunak will not stick, not least because she has the backing of the European Research Group, of the strong Brexiteers in the Conservative Party, saying that actually Brexit means control of immigration, choosing who to come in and when, not the absolute. And not, not least of all also because the farming community, uh, and indeed I think uh, one of Rishi Sunak's own backers, George Eustace, wants to see a change in terms of the numbers who are allowed in. Just very finely, Tom, though, clearly the momentum is with Liz Truss. And I say that just not looking at the polling numbers, but you can always judge these things by the number and the calibre of the people who decide to back uh, the candidates. And we've heard from Brandon Lewis, the former Northern Ireland Secretary, in the last couple of days, Nadine Zahari, the current Chancellor today, both rowing in behind... Liz Truss. And following Tom Tugendhat, of mm. course, once uh, a, a, a high polling uh, candidate for prime minister, someone who many people thought would row in behind Rishi Sunak. He's seen to be on the left of the party, but him backing Liz Truss, someone seen to be on the right of the party, does mean that there is this head of steam behind the Liz Truss campaign. And to put it in the words of the prime minister, Boris Johnson, something he said uh, in his resignation statement, when the herd moves, it moves. And it does seem that the herd in Westminster has decided that this is Liz Truss's race for the losing and it is really moving in behind her now. Oh, when the ambitious spot a winner, they all go in that direction. Tom, as always, thank you very much indeed.